Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing? This is Dave Void here. Today we got a kind of a little bit of a vintage set. Eh, it's not really vintage, not old enough to be. Lego Star Wars set 75085, the Hellfire Droid. It's from 2015. Anyways, this was a lot off of um, Mercari. No instructions, no box, didn't even come with figures. But what it did come with was two. The new Super Battle Droids in gray. Uh, I like the mold. I really do. Don't really like the rear view, the hollowness. But these were not the rocket arm ones. These were the regular ones. So you got two of these guys, and we got this new lieutenant. I like the blue color. I I really do. The little dots across his chest, his arms. I like the printing on the front of his legs. I like the detail of the helmet. It just looks. It looks sort of better, you know? Look at that. Nice, nice helmet. Uh, basic print on the back. This probably would have been cool if it had been blue, but hey, it isn't. No print on the sides or the backs of the legs. Under the face, he's got his... The new, or at the time new, but now fairly common, angry clone face, which has been replaced with uh, that darker, more Mando face. He's got his blaster. And let's go back off and say bye. Anyways, so it came with those three figures, and it came with this build. I had a little ball here in the back, harken back to the days at trailers. So you could use that to kind of play with your machine a little bit. Um, oops. So from the front, we've got this little Technic gun here and got these rockets up on top. They used printed clear radar dishes, eight wides for the wheels. And then these builds also has these hinge points here. So they click. So you could, well, this is not correct, make it straight up and down. Well, it's completely wrong, but you know. That's how it's made. And you also could allow you to, you know, so you could actually do a broken axle scene, I suppose. You know, if you're doing a mock, I mean, you could probably have some entertainment with that. There's the plates coming through here, around the back. It's pretty simple. This, by the way, is rigid. Um, remember that when I do a comparison with the other one. It's a nice looking little unit. Um, does have the detail for the little Droid eye. Can you see that up inside of here? Let's open this down. And then, of course, the little what the uh, bar holders. And then the little plates, which gives a front end look. It looks pretty good. It, it does look in universe. It does have um, two flick fires on each side, or not flick fires, spring loaded missiles. And it has a fake one. The reason it has a fake ones is because this is Technic built. See? So, you wouldn't be able to, you know, do four, unfortunately. Although, if you look here, you could probably add two more. It might be touching, or maybe you could, what I would probably do is double stack it, like put one more here, and maybe a real one here, or maybe a fake one here. Maybe a real one, giving you, you know, four. And you could even raise them up. You get like six on each side, it'd be kind of cool. And fire these things off, just, you know, bring them back. Flip the tail a little bit, like so. Anyways, there it is. It's pretty cool. I don't like these on display because I don't like that tail sticking out. Now, with that in mind, keep that in mind, here is 7670, the early one. Now tell me, since I just got done watching this movie, Attack of the Clones, I'm telling you straight up, I love this original one here. It has the same clear discs, the uh, radar dishes, but it has actual chain link around the sides. For play value, it's okay. This one is superior. This is a Clone Wars look and color though. It's much larger. But this one, the way it's angled, the rockets, which are flip fires.
oops, gone forever. But these are not rigid like that one is, so they can they can move around and do some crazy stuff on you if you're not careful. But I think that this one looks and feel for like especially for like a mock. I don't think you could beat this. This is definitely the superior machine, I believe. I like both of them. I'm glad to have both of them, and I really thank Lego for creating both of these different things. But I believe that for my looks, the color and everything, I like the looks, the short, heavy set stubbiness. I like the, especially the shorter axles. I think that's where it really is. This just looks more like it does in universe. But anyways, I've been kind of long winded on this, so there's a review of set. Of set 75085 and of course the original 7670 so you're looking at um, 2008 versus 2015 anyways with that in mind if you like this review or you like this video please give me a thumbs up give me a like give me a follow let me know what you think subscribe leave me a comment do you have these models do you want these models uh, are you gonna buy these after seeing this do you, do you hate these models? Do you hate all the early episode movies? Let me know, please. Y'all take care. Seriously, be safe. Till next time. Ciao.